Welcome to the OSR's podcast. We're going to be going to talk about RuneScape news, especially new skills. Now we're going to be uploading every Sunday. Keep that in mind, every Sunday, once a week at minimum. I'm one of your hosts, Mitt Cow, joined by... I'm Rexy, guys. Hello. Welcome, welcome. And Rice Cup. Hello. Yeah. We got the Dream Team here, and we're going to be talking about the new skills that haven't passed in the RuneScape, or at least haven't passed just yet. We got warding, artisan, skilling, and I be- I don't know if anything else was ever talked about coming into Sailing. RuneScape. Sailing. Maybe talk about this. Yeah. Wait, what did I say? Artisan, warding. Did I say skilling again, or did I not say sailing? I think you said I think you said skilling. I'm yeah, dumb. sailing. I was meant to say sailing. <laughs> Jesus, I was like, I just woke up. So those are the <laughs> skills that are coming in the game, and uh, I guess we'll talk about awarding for a little bit. Rice, what do you what do you uh, first? Let's just um, uh, explain what warding is. Actually, not everyone knows what it is. Well, I mean, I mean, first things first. We don't have a dev block for it yet, so we don't know the like the the intricate details. Of warning, like oh, at what level do you do, you know, which thing? But you're on the page, right? Yeah. Yeah, but right. If, here. if you scroll down on, on the page, it, it gives you kind of like the selling points of warding. I like how they so laid like, this out. So we have, yeah, yeah. Sorry, what were you saying? Uh, no, I like how they laid this out. It's really nice because it's yeah, one it of the. Yeah, they're trying to pro- make it. Yeah, go ahead. <laughs> I was gonna say I don't know if we said this, dude. Look, look, look. We're all in different time zones. These two have just woken up. I've been awake for like ten fucking hours. Yeah, yeah. So it's always gonna be a bit scuffed. But this is yeah. uh, a new skill that Old School RuneScape are trying to implement into the game, and we've we've yet to have a new skill in Old School RuneScape, and it's like an ongoing thing. Everybody wants a new skill, but nothing's been pitched yet that the community can decide on, basically. And this is the newest uh, the newest pitch to us as a community. Exactly. Yeah, they're trying to they're trying to sell this warning concept and and uh, <clears throat> the way they're going about it is that look we have smithing we have crafting you know what they do smithing makes the melee stuff yeah uh, armor wise weapons and, and crafting makes the range stuff the range armors so like they were saying oh what about magic we don't have a skill that like complements that aspect you know of the production for magic so they're like okay why not have a skill that's pretty much similar to what we already have, except this time it's going to cater to to a type of armor that we haven't been able to make in the, in the past, which is magic armor. Which, which makes complete logical sense. Yeah, which, exactly. Which, it it fits in, in so well. I mean, other than that, it, yeah. the thing is warding. I'm not, like, excited, excited about, but it fits in. It makes sense. Uh, I mean, it looks clean. It looks clean. Warding just sounds yeah. badass. Runic energy, materials. There's going to be a way where you can profit more, right? And if you do it near the runic areas, etc., and just all sorts of uh, ways to go about it where you can make more money or get more XP. And I just feel like it's really uh, detailed in that fact, but I'm not excited about it. I mean, who wants to make Zerikin robes? I mean, can't you yeah. already make <clears throat> Zerikin yeah. robes? Now you got to make it this way, and then so, they... So, well, so. you get somebody to make it for you, I'm pretty sure. No, you kill. Oh, oh, you right? take it to him, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Currently. Currently. Okay. Somebody, yeah. yeah so currently. it's just cutting the middleman out. That's what this skill is gonna be. Yeah, because right now you can buy a lot of the magic stuff, right? Like mystics in stores or like you know salad robes. You can just kind of get it yourself, right? Get the crafting level to yourself. Was it crafting level, or did somebody have to do it for you? Or the, I think it's someone has to do it for you because you make split bark as well, right? Yeah, 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 yeah exactly. Yeah, so I guess a lot of it will cut out the middleman, but stuff like arums, like you know, we can't, you can't really no, you know, make those. And I don't think you can make arums, but um, I'm assuming because like uh, somewhere at the bottom though, they they maybe they showed it or not. But I remember at Runefest they actually showed like concepts of new stuff that isn't part of the game yet. Is it like called Blood Mystic or something? Yeah, it's, it's like it's a yeah. hybrid of defense and magic. I think but... it was Blood Bark. Blood yeah, bark? Like some, bark? Something yeah. Bark. It was like an yeah. upgrade on Split Bark, basically. Yeah. Um, I don't think they but, have it here yeah, in they don't have post, it, but, but, I but the idea it. is is that not only can you make existing stuff, right? You can also make some newer stuff. That The newer stuff is obviously uh, to be announced, really, because it, it's still far from from the final development, so they're still fleshing out the ideas. But like the, the, the idea is that we'll be able to make some new stuff that yeah. we haven't been able to. We just don't know, really. Yeah, I, you know, I, I always feel like 
these new skills, they always get like a lot of hard press, right? And I think this is the first skill, in my opinion, that makes sense, fits into old school. And I could see this being a skill. And let's just like, to put this in perspective, when Smithin was first released in RuneScape Classic, at 99 Smithin, the best thing you could smith was, I believe it was a steel plate body. So was it's it like- a, Wasn't it a rune? Yeah. No, 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 it was, still, it was still to start with. Yeah, it was, I, I'm absolutely certain it was a still play. <laughs> I'm, I'm like 99.9%. .9%. I see, I see. And like, you know, smithing isn't really like one of those skills that is like huge nowadays. People just do it if they have the money or yeah. if you need it for a diary. But like, I, I think we should take a step back because we're all good players now, or the majority of us are. We're used to the game. And I feel like we criticize stuff like this. Bearing in mind, a lot of things can be added to this, you know? Like things yeah. in the future, like this could be like the equivalent of making that steel plate body back in the day. And that like things can be added to this and this could be potentially made into a very good skill. Agreed. And yeah, there's also, yeah, exactly. it's not just that as well. You can also dissolve from other, like you take Mystic and you get stuff out of it. And I'm wondering, is there going to be a way to where you can just like fletching, crafting, smithing, where you can make a certain item, alk it and walk away of certain profit. Is there going to be a certain method for this skill where you make like a mystic rogue top end up alking it and uh, walk away with some gp because if, if so it kind of just fits in with how runescape skills should be right just a little bit of side pocket money just some other stuff to do uh the thing is it's not exciting so that might be the backlash that is can you even get an exciting skill in like, a runescape yeah right? what it has to be boring skill? i mean like yeah, what, what? slayer or something could there be something a skill that we could join into RuneScape that could still have such a huge impact as one of those favorite skills. I think there's not room for that anymore. I think it's just always going to be, eh, yeah, that's kind of cool. Or, yeah, it fits in. You know, well, it's not going to yeah, be like. The, the idea, one of the core hidden like ideas behind this new skill is that it's supposed to be balanced. Like, it's not supposed to be a skill. I don't think they're trying to introduce a new skill where you just gain a lot of crazy power proof from it. Right? It's exactly, just like, yeah, that's what it, I'm it's saying. It's just to coexist with what we have. It's not like summoning yeah. where, oh, snap, summoning? Steel Titan? You know, like Terror Bird? <laughs> like, right? It's not like that anymore. It's Thank it's God, like dude. That, yeah. Just no summoning, yeah. please. Because no. be, now it's like, warding. You get to make the same magic armor that you already have. Yeah, you know, it's like, yeah. oh my well, God. I, mean, yeah. I, I think there are, like, hidden benefits to it. Like, Yeah, there's supposed so, to be, yeah. Yeah, so, like, for I'll give you an example right here. If you're playing an Iron Man, and re obviously you play your iron man yeah. it's like I, i'm playing my iron man for the first time currently and i'm starting to get mystic drops and slayer tasks eventually those mystic drops to me are just going to be worthless yeah, and it's they're just they're just going to be alkables or like sell to a shop right if this skill came out and i could actually use those drops that i have and gathered and make that into something which i could then level this skill up why not you know yeah. and it's yeah. it's new it's fresh like i think just having a new skill would be exciting you know because like let's think about it like the skill that i think of the most when it was released was hunter and i was so excited for that skill and a lot of people don't mind hunter but it's super click intensive very repetitive some people love it some people hate it but it was like new you know it was new and shiny people wanted to try it out people wanted to test it see what it was all about and like although this may to the eye seem like a very simplistic idea like this definitely fits within old school RuneScape, and I could I see this in the game, a hundred percent. It I seems agree. like one of those chill <laughs> skills, right? I mean, look at the way yeah, you're yeah. training it, gather silk or gather energy. I mean, that just looks really nice to do. It looks really AFK. Um, um, yeah, they set the gathering energy component, like in RuneFest, like they specifically said the whole energy gathering thing is, kind of, is supposed, in their mind, was going to kind of replace the AFK splashing uh, in Lumbridge or something. I'm saying okay uh, okay instead of splashing your you know those goddamn rats why not try this thing out because it'll be like really afk but really bad oh because you can train like me oh okay i get you yeah oh this that's this part here gather energy okay that's sick yeah man all right new way to splash pretty much which would be nice training uh two skills in one i'm wondering though why is this skill giving getting so much treatment when we had sailing and artisan and uh those didn't I don't think came quite as far as warding did. I mean, I think warding has well, I mean, much they had a, there was a lot of detail uh, in those two skills as well, but it was just like a different face of RuneScape, uh, yeah. RuneScape ideology among players where they yeah. just didn't like new, uh, didn't 
like updates. It was, it was too far from the normal, which brings me back to: Can you really get a hype skill in a RuneScape anymore? Could you get something that? I don't. I, I think it would just be too much of an off balance for everybody. So warding is common, kind of almost like the perfect thing to add. Yeah, you yeah. Could, you know, I, I think that's so true. Like, I'll be honest. Like, loads of people lost faith in Jagex years and years ago. Like when they were removed, free trades, got rid of the wilderness, etc. Everyone did. Every, <laughs> yeah. Everybody's been like terrified and like almost like, what if they just change something overnight that completely changes the game and they just you know scrapped. But we need to give it a chance, like, because I see it like this: if this skill did come out and it was like reasonably successful, and it did well, like in the future when they poll new skills, it's like this is something to go from, right? So if this does well, then if they bring out a skill in the future, we're gonna know that it's not gonna be destructive to the game. So that, that's like how I feel about it. I feel like we do need a new skill. Yeah, Old school runescape has been out for so long now. We've not had anything. A new and balancing yeah. skill. So yeah, yeah, I mean, I wouldn't like, vote no. I definitely wouldn't vote no. Yeah, you can like think of a, a skilling update as an update that is really twenty different updates in one. Right? It's one of those multi-layered updates. Right? It's not not one thing is actually ten different, twenty different comprehensive updates that will all have different little impacts to the game. So you can think of skilling in, in another way as like an enhancement to the game or like a co like a it, or or like a blend you know one that just kind of kind of balances with existing content or one that seeks to replace what we already have yes. right and so this this is a skill that that is the for, uh that is the original you're, you're, it's just trying to coexist with what we yeah. already have and something i want to add to that i remember <laughs> uh the uh, content creator, the streamer Zulu, did a tweet when this was announced at RuneFest, and I loved it because it basically said uh, something along the lines of, do you guys think that if smithing was polled in 2018, it would pass? And he's so right, it, it wouldn't. It's exactly the same as this, except for, like, this is to make mystic armor instead of making, like, melee armor. That's the only difference. But can you imagine RuneScape without smithing? It wouldn't, it wouldn't feel like RuneScape, would it? You know? I mean, I could yeah. imagine... I could imagine. Yeah, because like it, it's like it's it's a parallel to saying, okay, well, if we just release warning when when those old skills came out, nobody would ban that. Runescape yeah. without just smithing, rune crafting, agility. I'm down with this. All right, but, I'm okay like, with man, any of this. You said you could imagine it. Could you could you imagine? Walking I would enjoy through, it. <laughs> could you imagine walking through Varrock and not seeing that like that anvil? Just there. Can you imagine oh, that would not? Yes. That would feel, what would they put there? What would get? Would they just put like a? They could put the guy who gives out master clues again. I missed that guy. What was his name? Like Little Mo? <laughs> they could put that guy in there, dude. Come on, yeah, man. Clue scroll skill level ninety. Take out fire making. Let's get rid of that, bro. Just put more trees in there for wood cutting. Fuck it. Yeah, all, it would just all, make all we need is so much bigger. <laughs> let's let's just do a fucking three sixty, man. Remove every skill apart from combat. Let's go. <laughs> Yeah, there we everything. go, dude. And <laughs> no, what you do okay. is you just you attack trees with whips and shit, dude. It'll be faster, <laughs> way, so. like Minecraft, dude. I'm with it. I'm with it. Yeah. So I mean, we already had two two big uh, initiatives in the past for skilling. We had artisans and we had sailing. Um, also sailing, right? Yeah. Although sailing has been a joke, you know, of a meme for a long time. What? I love pitch it. Sailing, they try man. to pitch that but you know what chat all right this is one of those <clears throat> questions for the chat here out of artisan sailing or warding what would you want in runescape personally sailing right more of the map to explore you get your own boat and i'm just wondering pvp worlds boat fights pirates <laughs> what'd you yeah, guess Somalian think, pirate yeah there i we... think i think you need to scroll down on this post <clears throat> and see <laughs> how Retarded this shit looks. Because if this game, I would be Lord. like, what the fuck are they doing? This does not fit into real Dude, Pirates of the Caribbean, man. Come on, look at that oh, shit, dude. bro. We get roleplay. I'm all for charter be... boats, man, but I'm not about fucking. Like, scroll down, look at the interface. Like, there's an interface. This. Dude, right fuck here. I interface. This. this is shitty I saw interface, that and I was man. Like, Come on. No. no. That what if there was a better inter. What if it was like the house thing where you could move your boat like the how you can move rooms in the house but it's more smooth i do these runescape if it had a better interface i'd be so this is shit all right yes yeah don't it's just at the so time. chat yeah, don't look they, at this I when you're voting gonna, in the chat don't look don't look at they've this they've got this a lot better sailing. with what they can do you know with, but that's what that's what they pitched yeah like it's yeah no but it's just initially 
Yeah. When they pitched I, this, though... Oh, sorry. Go ahead. I, I was just going to say, if you if you compare this to the warding they've pitched, what is more appealing? What looks like it would fit into the game? Okay, not this, more appealing. You mean what, what just fits, all right? Because this, my friend, is more appealing. They have Debatable. underground areas in the sea they got the gem mines do different areas it's just locations you can actually unlock and get to instead of like total worlds it would have sailing worlds in a way where it's like you have this island that you can only get to with I don't know, 80 sailing right and maybe there's more resources there i don't know it's dope it gives more to yeah, explore I mean, in a way but that's like me. sailing that's as a me. skill in terms of exploration is fine but like it's, it's always it always came down to the rewards and stuff so like a lot of people I don't. I don't really remember exactly what what a lot of people thought about sailing in terms of why. At the moment, it looks like it's just you unlock different areas. That's your reward. Yeah, but they, they did a whole dev blog before. <laughs> I don't know up, if the link has it, but you get different boats, dev. dude. Fuck it, you don't know. Dude, yeah, what, it was. It wasn't. Sorry, yeah. go ahead. Sorry, go ahead. Yeah, go yeah, ahead. it was. Uh, it, they were pitching a bunch of different rewards, though. It wasn't just like upgrading boats and stuff. It was like actual rewards that you could like yoink from those places. You know I mean, you get a boat with like, you, Mod Jed's face on it, dude. Come on. You can like take get something like uh, I think there were a lot of them were like equipable stuff. There would be like some bonuses. Yeah, there were there were some there were some interesting rewards that they actually did try to what pitch because like, like, it was it was already dead block. What uh, about a pirate cheap. flag, dude, with like little uh, logos on it and shit? That'd be cool. You got a little rice cup flag on your boat. Get all your skillers on there. Go <laughs> yeah, sail. but like that's not that's a skilling aspect. But like talk about external rewards that you can grab out. Yeah, of it. I mean, I mean when you, when you speak of it like that, like it sounds appealing. That sounds awesome. But it's like what's a safer bet? Because that is a game changing update. Like that's oh, not a little thing. Like I think agree. about like yeah. if that was the case, they'd have to create not only the skill. They'd have to create islands which you could go to, which have resources. That that's just a lot of stuff, and it doesn't like instantly fit into the game. That's you know? why it's I a... agree that there yeah. won't be an exciting skill coming in a RuneScape. It'll always be something that fits, you know, and that's fine. That's great. I don't want the yeah. RuneScape being ruined or anything. But in terms of excitement, I was over the moon when sailing was even thought about. I was like, that sounds badass, See, dude. Yeah, when, when, when I when I heard it, I thought it was a joke. I was like, this a lot of mean. people did. I thought April it was too Fools or something. Like, what's going on? Like, I genuinely thought it was a joke. They didn't take it seriously at all. And as soon as I saw it, I was just like, that's failing. I'm not even going to read it. That's not even going to click on it. Not worth my time. <laughs> Ain't clicking uh, on that. Dude, I remember playing this pirate MMO. I think it was uh, actually from Pirates of the Caribbean, but it was really shitty. And you got your own little boat with your little two pixel shit. I was just thinking about that little cannon on the side. It was so shit. I loved it. Dude, oh, if you want to do sailing, go buy Pirates of the Sea, man. Like, that's what the game's all about. Why I just buy Black Ops, man? Do I look like an ATM machine? I can't be buying all these games, bro. RuneScape 11 a month, come on. I think, I think, yeah, the whole sailing aspect, uh, it, it's just, it was too alien, I guess. The yeah. aspect of traveling to new places through boats is kind of like an alien concept. But honestly, I feel like if it really came out and it, did, it was done the right way with, like, the right amount of like dev time you know to like create the proper layouts create the proper islands and, and you know make it nice right like it definitely can fit in like here's uh it's, like it, it's one of those things where it's like it seems alien but once it comes out like and you try it out you probably yeah. get into it yeah, yeah, but like, think of it like this. Say, if warding were to pass and they do a, a good job of it, I feel like that would open the community up more for yeah. updates and skills like this to come in the future. Like, we need a test run, and I feel like warding's a really good test run because, yeah, it doesn't look the most exciting thing in the world, but I don't feel like they can fuck it up. Do you know what I mean? And it's like they're they're gonna do a yeah, good job with it. It's definitely where we say. You just say you I'm don't think they could fuck it up? I'm sorry, man. I love I RuneScape, but even the JMods would laugh at you if you said there was no chance they could fuck it oh, up. Oh my beer. There's always <laughs> a chance like, they could fuck it up. Okay. All, all they'd have to do is just follow like the exact same path. All as of a sudden, like Mystic Tops as, uh, are less in like Zami robes next day. You don't know. Shit could happen, man. I mean. Well, I mean, they're basically tied by Al, al value of this. Yeah, so. that's true. Yeah. So, so, but the main, I guess the main difference between why for sailing specifically, because like we haven't even talked about artisan, but like for sailing, I guess it was just too foreign of a concept yeah. that a lot of players, because think about it, you know, sailing was pulled years ago now. And back then people psychologically, in terms of 
how they view updates were were different. What if they you know, didn't they were, add they were more, sailing? Uh, they were more conservative, you know, with updates, and they were like, "Whoa, yeah. this is wild." The fir- the fact is that it's it's, an, it's a skill that they're trying to propose. That's already a no. And then this concept itself is like, oh, that's kind of alien. That's already a no. That's, that's already two strikes. No. <laughs> that's already two strikes. What, you know. What what is? Because back yeah. then, right, people really were a lot, way more critical than they ever were. With yeah, them. but I mean, the thing is, people yeah. had a reason to. Like, have you always been a skillery? Like, have you always done skilling and PVM? Yeah, pretty much. But like, I was okay. more PVM focused. So, so like to put it in perspective, like from my side of it, I was always a PKer always up until like old school runescapes release and every update they implemented whether it was a new skill mini game or whatever had a direct negative impact into pkn and i can give you so many examples of that mobilizing armies meant you had to spend like a month there to get imbued rings to be able to compete in the wilderness summoning you couldn't go fucking past level two wilderness because you're going to be fighting people people with those little bunny things that give them like 109 mage plus people have pack yaks uh, yeah, the Wolper tingers. <laughs> yeah turmoil soul split like all of those updates just made it harder for people to pk so for me it puts me in a position where i'm like are they going to release something which is going to have a negative impact on me again? Because, like, for... Well, you don't like PK a... no more. What are you talking about? But he used no, to no. PK. I yeah. don't I mean, anymore, you know, but yeah. it's, still like, it's still, like, a big part of me. And, like... Boy, the will be dead I, already, man. Just, I'm sorry. Just, just, yeah. because, just because I personally don't PK very much anymore, there are a lot of people that do. And I know that they love it because I've been so passionate about it myself. But you can't change something which is going to yeah, have a huge I, impact. I agree with you. That's yeah. that's that's my personal opinion. Like I'm sure if I was just a skiller slash PVMer back in those days, I'd have been like Dungeoneer and hell yeah, rapiers to kill Bandos, uh, turmoil <laughs> and soul split. I can stay there for fucking days without having a bank. You know, it's all good. But like, no, I didn't like. I didn't really like that in the long run. Yeah. No, like I mean, even even I'm on the PVM sphere. Like stuff like uh, you know newer powerful stuff was was. I mean, at the time when when you were you know when I was playing back then, I was a lot younger. So I really didn't think about balancing or like long-term sustainability of the game. Yeah. So like in, in retrospect, you know, when I'll see all these crazy new stuff like uh, Soul Split and shit, I really don't like it anymore because I realized yeah, no, yeah, it's that's the well, reason why that... there was no more updates that they could really do because they, they yeah. broke the game. At, yep. And the then let's look at RuneScape 3. <laughs> I feel like the proof is in the pudding right there. We don't want a RuneScape free. We don't old proof school to turn into anything like that. We should learn from our mistakes, and I think that's why so so many people were sailing. Concerned, you no. said, you know, but, it's yeah, like if yeah. you if you throw some shit like sailing into the game. Yeah, okay. I have an idea though. I have an idea you know? for sailing. Okay, don't make it a skill. Make it a total level requirement. And the more your total level is, the bigger your boat is, more customizations that you can go to different areas that are locked off by total level. And then a cool idea would be is if you had a clan like what hexes or something with a couple hundred people, you can apply on like RuneScape forms or something, dude, for like a clan boat. And you can go and you can go and like just raid an island, you know, skilling raids, PVM raids, whatever, and just kill everything on the island for like an hour. You know, it sounds more it sounds more like a mini game than a skill. That's the way well, I, I guess. That's because yeah, you guess. gotta broaden your mind. Like it's gonna be bigger than a mini game. You know I mean, I mean? I, uh, no, I agree. You could, you, it could be more of a uh, mini game. Yeah, I mean, with total I mean, level, you know, make people want to train, unlock, unlock more of the map, really. give people yeah. rewards for actually having a higher total level, and then clans. Literally, is there even a reward for being in a clan other than, <laughs> you know, maybe make it so that there's a positive side for like you'd want to join a clan. <laughs> There's nothing. There's nothing there. Fuck it. Every other game has a positive side for clans. Let's make one for RuneScape. Get a clan boat in there. You know, is it the whole point in a clan like just for that community aspect to feel like you belong and like make friends and stuff, right? Yeah, and have a mission to take people's islands and yoink yeah. Them. There you go, dude. Anyway, the Yoinkin Islands, thinking, bro. It, it, you know what? Bruh. This thing could be a pretty nice mini game. Or it's not a mini game, man. Yoinkin Islands, matter, like, bro. They can make they can make the mini game very comprehensive, right? God damn it. Well, and it'll yeah. feel like it, but it won't like you won't feel like you're forced to have to train it, right? Cause Imagine like, like each clan like, could ah, be like, I have a bow and island. Yeah. You have like a skilling island or a PvP island, and then you could take yeah. over other clans' islands. It's like if you but trap I feel on like they might, there, I, don't know, I feel like if the whole warning thing passes and people yeah. overall the reception is good. Then they'll probably revisit some of these and think about incorporating it again in the future. Yeah right 
Yep. But yeah, yeah. Um, sailing though, yeah, definitely t the two strikes. You know, it was at the time. <laughs> yeah. Scaling, the thing is, scale, no, you know, concept. Yeah, no, I style. agree. I agree. Yeah. If, if they br if they bring out warden or a skill which is successful, it's gonna like broaden my mind to what other skills I'm gonna be more accepting of. So I like we need to take at least a step. You know, yeah, I'm not no, talking we need a to take jump baby or a steps, sprint. Man. Just just yeah. a step. See how it goes. And then from there, I just feel like people are going to be way more open-minded, you know? Like, that that's my personal opinion on the matter. But uh, we should watch the video on Warden, by the way. Do we have that? Yes, we yeah, do. Let's see. That's, yeah, now, let's let me have make it, it so you Jay guys can... <laughs> there we go. Um, now, let me... Make sure it's full screen capture for that. What has he done? <laughs> All right, now you guys should be able to hear it. All right, because yeah. I'm a nice guy. This video is not. Can you hear it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. We yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Gameplay and was created using content. You can max it out. The design is still subject to right. change, and you can find the most up-to-date details on the old school website. I'm just saying. Look at this. The ground shook, Jesus. and across the land sits ominous it's not bad. Most yeah, it's not too bad. Yeah, it's not too bad. The scholars of the Wizard's Tower were quick to act. <laughs> and swiftly began studying these monolithic monstrosities and their peculiar properties. I just gotta say, look at the art, though. I mean, the art for RuneScape lately has been going up. Zaya, everything. It just looks so pretty, I want to vote for it. They yeah. quickly discovered a way to manipulate the energy within the rocks, utilizing various magical tools to create armor with impressive magical capabilities. Dive into Old School's first new skill by discovering the hidden armaments of the Wizard's Tower and gaining valuable insight into the practices of warding. There you will learn the intricacies of drawing wards and channeling runic energies to create a vast assortment so of pretty. armors specifically for wizards and witches. Warding is a brand new skill being proposed for old school runescape, available to members and partially in free to play. One of the I also really like the icon. Is... I, I think they did a really good job. Like the icon itself, as soon as I saw it, I was like, yes. Clean, I can see right? That in the game, one hundred percent. That's perfect. The I art team, clean, bro. You guys are doing a fantastic. Yeah, they didn't job. have the. They didn't have mod ghosts. I just gotta what, say, you know, what's up with that? And then you got like the ugliest boat I've ever seen right here, dude. What's up with this, dude? Yeah, they didn't have an art guy, so they had to <laughs> no, do what they could. Just, just, it feels bad. Oh man, <laughs> <laughs> isn't shitty boat? They got this cool ass thing for making mage armor, bro. Creating a skill which feels as if it could have been a part of RuneScape since day one. A skill Legends. which fills a clear gap, fitting into the game seamlessly, solving a number of problems, all while giving you more content to enjoy. Let's take a look at exactly what warding is and what it has to offer. There are many pieces of magic equipment which are a mystery in the eyes of the player. Blue wizard robes, Zamorak robes, mystic robes, split bark. They are abundant throughout the world primarily dropped by monsters, sold by NPCs, and in some cases, crafted by them. But we have been left in the dark. What are they made from? Where do those materials come from? And how are they crafted? We know the answer for many metal armors all the way back to the source of each ore. We are capable of making it ourselves through mining and smithing. The same can be said for leather ranged equipment. We can slay the dragons ourselves and craft their hides into armor. But magic equipment remains largely a mystery. And this is where warding comes in. Warding is to magic, what smithing is to melee, or crafting is to ranged. It's a skill which allows you to create magical equipment for witches and wizards. On top of creating magic gear, the skill also allows you to imbue items and- What do you guys think about the imbuing process? There was a lot uh, of- So hate. I think that's one of the biggest issues that right. a lot of people had. Cause they, yeah. they don't- they like Nightmare Zone, right? I like <laughs> Nightmare Zone. I don't think it fits. Yeah, because um- Everyone likes said, Nightmare Zone. I don't. I don't. No? I oh, don't. Shit. It's broken as fuck. But that doesn't, that doesn't really matter that much. But but like the JMOS said, oh, um, they were thinking of removing assisting imbues once the update comes out so that you, you have to level up and imbue it again. So a lot of people are like, whoa, what the frick, man? I got to re-imbue my shit, you know? And they're like, oh, I'm voting no to that. Yeah, exactly. And I, I honestly agree because I'm like, why would you do that? Yeah. In the, terms of two it, Jagex. It really seems unnecessary. What, yeah. like, what I, I feel like if they just said, instead of removing Nightmare Zone, being able to imbue the rings like that, this is an alternative, and you can do it this yeah. way also. No, I, think I, was that, thinking, I was thinking of a better way to do it is like, okay, we're going to be moving the imbues to the new skill, but existing imbues are chill. You're good with it. You have it. But if you want to imbue in the future, though... Dog, you're gonna have to train, you know. Your, your, <laughs> is he gangster warning. ass fucking J. Yeah, that's what that's what it is. I, I mean, I think that's a fair balance, right? You keep what you got, understandable, right? Because you earned it, right? You you've gone through 
the really difficult Nightmare Zone AFK. Man, this is how RuneScape works, man. Hard stuff. Okay. Yeah, you take whatever, away right? something easy from the community, they're going to hate you. Yeah. So no, it just, will it's not, just not happen. Fair, right? it, it's just not fair because they've already earned it, so they should just keep it, right? Or, yeah. Whatever exists. And then going forward, if, if you want to do new ones, do new imbues after the skill. Well, what I'm saying is a lot of these. On that warning grind and, and you know, imbue that. A lot of these PKers, though, they'll grind up like 10k points so they can lose imbuements. And you're talking a lot of the community who does that. And yeah. I wouldn't care if you had to do warding because that just seems more chill than Nightmare Zone anyways. But I, I guarantee if there's something like this, it's going to have a problem passing. I think they've already said Yeah, they, no, they honestly, it, I but... think ultimately they're going to scrap the idea of removing existing imbues. Yeah, because... they need to. That's all they yeah. need to do. Or yeah, so far yeah. in this video, that's the only issue I have yeah. so far. Yeah, yeah. Well, all right, we can keep going, I guess. Yeah, <laughs> continue. And dissolve some pieces of equipment to retrieve the energies and base resources which make them up. Warding ties in with a number of other skills, taking the resources they provide and allowing you to turn them into a variety of wizardy garments. One of the most important aspects of any new skill is the process for gaining experience. Let's walk through the process of training warding from start to finish. Much like crafting and smithing, warding is trained by creating equipment. So let's set up our inventory and get started. To do this, you will need three things. Materials, energy, and tools. Materials are sourced primarily from farming, with some resources coming from hunter, woodcutting, and combat. The materials yeah, used include fabrics, leathers, and Wait, bark. Yeah, pulls energy can be siphoned. What are you talking about? Uh, farming. So resources will mainly come from farming. Well, well, like partly come from a different gathering skills. Well, if you want, like, um, what does it say, the wool or mystic material, I believe. But if you want to just take apart your already armor, yeah, and yeah, then gather yeah. up the mage or energy. Yeah, they're saying there's going to be multiple ways to gather some of the material to uh, make but the armor. Like the runic energy stuff is always going to be something you have to do, I, I think, or it can be dismantled partly or something to receive. Yeah, but he said primarily farming, and then there was a big pools. You know how they like to use the word primarily? Come on, they love that yeah, word. Yeah, yeah, yeah. There's going to be some farming involved. So, like, for uh, for Iron Man, like, because cause the whole idea is, like, a lot of the, the material is going to come from plants that you, you know, you uh, weave from, right? Okay. Yeah. So. Rakes, he's like, fucking right. farming, dude. Uh, We're, like, yeah. ten minutes into this two minutes we've watched. Let's get it going. Let's go. You don't want to listen yeah. back to that? All right. No, Big it's ass. fine. Look at that it's shit. Fine. God damn, Ruth. Yeah, include fabrics, leathers, and bark. Yeah, we're going to get Energy can be siphoned <laughs> via magic <laughs> through the use of Hey, we got our thumbnail, boys. Casting there combat we... spells on certain runestone monoliths will allow you to siphon energy. The tools required I look forward to, to create it. equipment include soapstones and channeling lamps. I, I got to say, I know you don't want to pause again. Look at this art. Look at that. Look, I want to eat that. I would buy a bag of that shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> don't. Don't eat soap. I would drink you. this too. Look at this uh, juice. You would Lamp drink the lantern. Is, Dude, it looks like a little soda pop, energy. man. Look yeah, at that little Kool Aid like, shit. The rune one looks awesome. I like that. That looks yeah, good. It looks like the Harry Potter treats, bro. I totally snack on that shit. Creating, right, using bro. smithing, and crafting. And soapstones come from a new resource called Steatite. Once you have your materials, energy, and tools, you are ready to make some equipment. Well, you need you a can lantern? choose to do this pretty what much anywhere. No, that, However, that's an if energy. You equipment near oh, the stone that was a the energy lantern. Cost of that, that was just a placeholder because they didn't Six make it. Six monoliths yet. can be found throughout the world, <laughs> okay. resembling the large rocks you have probably seen north of Falador. To start, you will need to draw your first ward. Wards are used to channel the needed energy for creating your magical equipment. Clicking on your soapstone will draw a ward on the ground. So now all you need to do is use your materials on your ward and select the piece of equipment you would like to create. And it is as simple as that. You'll need to visit a bank, stock up on supplies and repeat. Now that we know how you train warding, let's take a look at some of the potential benefits for leveling up. As you've probably gathered by now, warding will allow you to create magic equipment which already exists in game. This includes mystic, split bark, Skeletal, Luna, Zerissian robes, Monk's robes, Druid robes, Zamorak robes, and Wizard robes. On top of being able to create these sets, the Split Bark, Skeletal, and Luna sets will be rebalanced to bring them new life and make them appropriately powerful. And for the lower level Monk, Druid, Zamorak, and Wizard robes, players with the required warding level will be able to create brand new hoods for each set. That's a thing we missed out on, is that there's going to be yeah, hoods for Wizard robes, Zami robes, 
And we already have what's that pure armor that's best in slot cast Ghostly? Yeah. Uh, well, oh, well, cast a a Elder Chaos Robes. Elder Chaos yeah. Elder So yeah. I wonder yeah. is this going to be better or worse in the robe top for that? Nah, it's probably going to be worse because you can mass imagine. You can mass reduce them, so probably worse. I hope they're better than the pink hats and stuff, though, at the least. So the peers have something, but. Yeah, they, they probably will be. Looking. I imagine. Right? I hope so. Yeah. I think it's cool. I think it'd look cool, a little blue robe tie. That'd be dope. Yeah. Beyond I like the idea of it because, sorry, I imagine, like, the blue robes there. Like, I know how to get the hat. You can buy the hat. Uh, <laughs> I don't even know how to get the robe <laughs> top and bottom. So, like, for free you to kill play, wizards. Like, you kill wizards for them. Fucking okay, noob. Do they actually drop them? <laughs> oh, yeah, my. Yeah. Easy drop frame. Yeah, like, One no, um, it's not too bad. I, Dude, I remember killing a bunch of them. Not having your ass on my group Iron Man team. Don't know where to get a wizard hat at. <laughs> no, no, boy. They, they <laughs> don't drop the robe bottoms. They drop the hat, a staff, and a blue wizard Well, because blue robe bottoms aren't robe bottoms. They give no bonus. They're just yeah, a skirt. Yeah, they give no bonus. Yeah, you but just buy it in the store. You just buy that in the store. If this, if this came out, play, so. you, you I'm might. sure they'd make, they'd probably make gloves and... Uh, the bottoms oh as well. I'm boots. God. No, yeah. no. Uh, well, I mean, they could. It would just be one magic each or something. <laughs> That'd be so yeah. weird. I, don't, I mean, why not? Why not? Why you know, not? it's like it's this not, might be a way to complete the entire set. As long as they make the stats make sense, it's okay. Because, like, Do you Wizard think... Boots is what? Four? Mystic Boots is like, what, three or something? So just uh, make it there, one. Yeah. Yeah, just make it one for like the lower level stuff. I'm wondering, yeah. is this going to be for F2P, like just the yeah. first beginning so, ones? Yeah, so, some of it will yeah, be for sure. Okay, pretty that's much. pretty cool. That's well, pretty I feel cool. like the I, I feel like some of the items that you can make on the lower end will probably be free to play. Yeah, you, know what I'm saying? you can sell it free to play, but you, the skill itself you probably can't. Because the beginning ones are in Falador in some of these F2P areas. I'm thinking. Yeah, know. they're like yeah. I mean, I don't think the skill is going to be free to play at all. Well, no, no, the rest I'm, of I'm pretty it, sure but... they said it would be. Not really? all, like, not in all the it. early levels, but okay. like it wouldn't yeah, be worth okay. it. You could probably make like this. Yeah, that's not a big deal. Damn. It's not, not a big deal. It's free to play in the early levels. I Watch the know. hoods be members only, so they're like, oh. It's like you <laughs> want to be a part of the hood, and get membership. <laughs> See yeah. eleven dollars. Mod yeah. t-shirts in description. All right. Equipment. Go touch your mom. Sets get high-level mage tank on. What? <laughs> For a membership, dude. For the kids, for the mobile. Go kids. touch your mom. Is that what you? No, said? go touch your mom. Oh, oh talk to your mom. <laughs> I was like, what the fuck, dude? Go touch your mom. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but like, mom, give me membership, please. You know. Oh man, I'm learning some new disses, dude. I'm gonna go touch your mom, bro. It's <laughs> also being proposed as a part of warding, blood bark and soul bark. Oh, the here's the new armors. Are... There we go. Jesus yeah, they Christ. they ran out of time. They ran out of time. Someone looking like an unlocked Super Mario Smash Bros. character. <laughs> <laughs> what the yeah. fuck? No, oh, they ran out of time. This guy looks like a turd. <laughs> Dude, I'm excited to see what Solvarg looks like, though, to be honest. Yeah, it'll just be like light, light blue. Like not yet finalized at the yeah, time of making this video, blue. but they will be made available in a developer blog on the old school website in the near future. They need to do that for Night Mystic Zone as well. Has been home to ring imbues for quite some time. And then this but is both the, the ring community yeah. and the old school team agree that it isn't an ideal home for them. All right. Well, we pretty much seen the rest of the video. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's pretty that. much. It. Yeah, yeah. We can skip till the end or something. And see what's up. Oh, it's. <laughs> oh, do you wanna? So we do have a video like the all no video that Rake C found that was uh. That was kind of... Well, before we get into another take, video, yeah. we haven't talked about Artisan, Artisan yeah. yet. That's what I'm saying, yeah. Let's talk about that. I was going to preface it, but yeah, go ahead. Oh, okay. My bad. Yeah. Um, yeah. Looks like Ronin's behind all this, by the way. Good job, Ronin. He's wanting... He's trying to push these new uh, skills, yeah. man. He's like, well, I mean, Ronin was, the, was in charge of writing up the, the updates and the dev blocks back when he was still, you know, working for Jagex. But yeah, no, that makes sense. It was like also, a team effort, though. It was like side team note. Effort. I know for a fact Mod Ronin enjoys the podcast. He's one of the people that was talking to me at RuneFest, and he was like, "You should bring it back." So, Yo! you know, props to Ronin, good man. Did he say my name? Well, did he, yeah, did... let's bring Ronin to uh to one of these one day. Did he say my name? Did he yeah. say my name? Yeah, he's like, wait, you did that podcast with that legendary mint mad cow, right? Let's... Legendary. He, he was like, who, who was who was that guy? Who was that guy? <laughs> uh... And I was like, the cow dude. I was like, I don't even fucking know. I was like, let me look on Twitter real quick. Fucking. <laughs> he's like, sorry, I'm drunk uh... up. Dude, dude. He's, yeah, got to turn, he's got to teach me some of them edits he does on those videos. Those are sick, dude. Those are really clean. 
Yeah. That cow, dude. Yeah, so, so Artisan, right? It was the first skill that was ever pitched. And so this thing was e- eons ago, bro. Like It's in RuneScape 3, Rune. right? It's not. It's no, not, it's no, not. It's, okay, it's so that didn't, new thing. couldn't even get into RuneScape 3. <laughs> couldn't even. I, I remember Artisan Oops. much m- better. Yeah, can we... Uh, yeah, I'll switch over the windows. My bad. There yeah, sir. Um, so I remember Artisan a lot more clearly than Sailing because I felt like Sailing got swept under the rug real fast, but Artisan, like, I was able to, like, you know, read through a lot of the dead block stuff. But essentially, did you guys remember it at all? No? Yeah, yeah, I remember. No, it. It's it's I remember this. it's pretty yeah. uh, understandable compared to Sailing. Sailing's a little more. It's like, what yeah. the fuck do you train? This one's yeah. just you get like it's like Slayer for skilling, pretty much. Yeah, exactly. The concept is so simple. It's just Slayer for skilling, and I was like. Okay, I mean, that's kind of cool. You would be forced to train a bunch of different skills. You're the only one who thought that was kind of cool, man. What do you mean? Yeah, dude, you don't I have mean, no skill. because, like, updates to me, as long as it, it's not power creep, I'm chill. You know what I mean? Like, it's fine, right? Because you're just there to just do it. It's optional. You want to do it, you want to do it, you do it. I mean, it really right? depends how much XP you get for some of these certain skills. Like, do you get, like, a bonus amount for doing it? If so, then, I mean, it could make skilling go by a lot easier. Right. I don't know what this skill is, and there's probably a lot of people that don't. So briefly, can you guys just fill in what we did, bro? It's basically Slayer, but for skilling. So like, there'll be some dude that you talk to, right? And be like, okay, go go fetch twenty blah blah blah. You know, fetch some bows. Oh, okay. Make some armor. Make some armor. So like, it'll kind of encourage. It'll kind of like, if you if you want to participate in in the skill, then it'll it'll encourage you to train a, a variation of skills, right? Because like okay. it, it might be fletching one day, and then the next task might be smithing. Is, is this an RS3 dev blog or is this old school dev blog? No, this is old school, bro. Okay, it just said this it unlocks the two-handed crossbows. I'm like, what the hell? Yeah, yeah. So and and obviously they they were trying because like their tactic for introducing updates are fairly straightforward. Um, they give a people a reason to go for it. So their the reason is like the you know the the reward. So if you go down the reward section, I remember. They were trying to pitch some like crossbows. I remember they were trying to pitch some right. potions. So it says and, like, what artisan food. will bring, and I'll just read it out really quick. Three new trees with associated bows, construction items, and other items. So new trees, new bows, a ton of shit Hello? to be honest. Have I DC? No, you're here. No, no. Oh, what okay. I've cut out. Yeah. I'm wait, hold up. Mine no, I meant to cut out for me for a second. Oh, dude. Okay. Yeah, it must, it's you, man. Okay. Yeah, yeah. You just like <laughs> randomly stop talking. Oh. <laughs> Oh. Right, so I, I I understand the skill. There's some things I take away from this. This is the first old screenscape skill they pulled. Yeah. And years ago. I, I don't know, like I feel like it's okay. Uh I can it's see safe. why it, it's very it, safe. It's safe. I can see why it failed because it's just a little bit boring. And then so it's, yeah, I, I talking think... about warding, like it's exciting. No 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 no. <laughs> I think they found the middle ground oh with warding God, because with so... sailing, sailing was too out there. You know, I feel like that was a massive leap. And although it could have been very good, it was very ambitious to think such a big change to the game would be accepted by the community. And I think with warding, they have found that middle ground. And like actually looking at this and talking about sailing this skill and warding, I think if warding doesn't pass, I think they're going to struggle to ever put a skill into old school RuneScape. Because I feel like warding is the middle balance where it's relative to the game. It makes sense. May not be the most exciting thing ever, but they can add to it. Agreed. If if warding doesn't come out, I don't think we'll be seeing a skill until 2020, no. possibly. Yeah, yeah. I, 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 I and that it, it probably won't pass, right? They got to go back to the drawing board. Yeah. Reevaluate what. I mean, what I'm surprised sense. Artisan didn't pass though. Like, all it's well, it's got a you, bunch you of new stuff. Yeah, no, I think the most important thing that we need to understand is that back then, a lot of things didn't pass. It was hard as hell. Hard enough to life, pass dude. anything. So, like, the more controversial it was, the more likely it wasn't going to pass. So, so at the time, I remember, like, because I, I remember playing, you know, through most of old school. So, like, the first few years, it was definitely critical. People were very critical. They were very, uh, like, kind of, the, the outlook on updates was just like, Nah, man, keep it old school. You know, a lot of people are feeling that way. So, like, this skill is like, whoa, new skill? This is not old school. You know what I mean? The moment they said new skill, they were like, what? Yep. You know, yeah, no, yeah. no, no, we don't we don't need that. So, okay. so, like, if you pull Artisan now, it would kind of be similar outlook 
I feel like it would more like 50, 50, 50, where I'd be like, yeah. you would hear 50% of people be like, you know what, that's cool. And then the other 50% is like, uh, that's kind of pointless, you know? I, like, so I wouldn't mind having like, like an artisan stream night, yeah. like every once a, once a day for like a week, just do artisan, see what I can level up. I mean, it sounds intriguing to skill, because like, I, I wouldn't be like, oh, let's go train some smithing for a day. You know, it just sounds boring, but it's like, oh, let's see what we're going to train today and just... Yeah, exactly. Uh, it kind of just tells you what you need to do. A lot of people love being told what to do. Oh yeah. Game, so, I mean. So so yeah, they'll 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 get they'll get what they, you know, need <laughs> by doing that test. So yeah. Sounds okay. pretty dope. Yeah. So it was it was very safe, honestly. The arson skill is pretty safe, but yeah, again, at the they time, they really put some thought in here. I mean, I don't know what the hell that is, dude. But other than that, they really put some thought into artisan like look at this this thing just scrolls yeah, all dude, the way i remember Mont mad k was trying so hard to like pitch it and then it just didn't it, it just didn't like pass and i remember oh, watching yeah. it yeah. i remember watching a q and is like oh yeah we're not doing another skill for a long time because um if warding know, passes then i think like, he was next pretty, year he was this pretty is sad. coming in yeah it was pretty sad dude you can see you can see the look in his face he, you know he put a lot of work into this. bamboo plants yeah. kapoke tree what? shistle plants it's so dope <laughs> man this is sad and fast dude i there didn't even so vote. much stuff on that screen right now yeah I, Those, they obviously put a lot of thought yeah. into this look, you got yeah, artisan yeah, gloves artisan sense. boots you got yeah. all sorts of but, but like armor it's not them. attractive like look at it it's not simple it's like you know like what attractive strange. is I mean, to I know, be honest, dude, boarding is attractive, dude. They've got, yeah. it looks nice. It's simplistic. And you don't have to look at a million 75 runecraft into making yeah. an Estoric hat. Like, I don't have to look at that crap. It's well, very he... much in your face, understandable. Well, no, no, here, here's the difference, though, is that for warding, you're being pitched a concept. You're not being pitched what the actual rewards are. Whereas artisan and sailing, they're actually telling you what the rewards are this time because. So you, the vagueness is what you're saying is how they get it. The yeah, pass. you like the concept. Like the arson okay. concept is fine. It's just the fact that the way they displayed it, the pitched it, right? It's not. It's not. Yeah. It's not as uh, good as warding because warding they had the graphics, they had the yeah, videos. It, it's not. It's not even just that. Like you just said about they've pitched the the rewards here. The thing is, getting a skill to pass and then figuring out what rewards to give are two very different and very controversial subjects that people yeah, are going to yeah. have to pick. So I, they, I just don't think it's know, a good comparison for these between I, warding and this. I think if anything, they've learned from this and that this here just looks like an information overload to me. This is way too much to look at and like try to figure yeah. out, is this going to scale? Is this going to be balanced yeah. or is this going to be OP? Whereas warding, they've just pitched the skill. Skill wise, love it. Let's talk but, about but the here, rewards here's the, pass, here, here's the thing. Here's the thing. That's that's actually not correct because um, for artisan and sailing they first pitch it to you and then later on they gave you the dev blog. So warding is oh, gonna be the okay. same thing. <clears throat> so they're gonna pitch they pitch to you now, but a few months later they're gonna give you the dev blog with all the different rewards. So why we're gonna have to look at this again. Why don't so, they just pull them separately? Like, do you guys want warding, yay or nay? If you do, brilliant. If it passes the vote do you guys like the idea of these rewards? Yeah or nay? You don't like them? Okay, let's come up with something else until they get it right. Well, yeah, Instead of I having mean, it in, in one that's like asking there. a child what's his favorite candy, and then he'll that's, just that's keep picking hard, stuff though. out. Yeah, that's 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 hard, and that that requires work and commitment. But is that not what we're worth? Well, no, no, no dude. Worth we should not have, dude. No, Runescape community it's should just, not have that be, much power. It, mm. It's just that it, it's just misleading. I mean, they have already misled a lot of things with the way they pull certain things and the way the poll structured. Like, you know, I mean, I could go an hour and talk about how I know you could, but, but, but like the point is, is that if you try to do it that way, like, oh, let's pitch the idea and then vote for, like and then lock it into saying it will come no matter what. And then you're like forcing players to decide which rewards will come out. And you no, know the fact that it's right. going to come out no matter what. Right? Part, part of that's, what you're saying, I agree with. Yes. Yeah. If they were to vote on the concept and people liked warding. And that got the pass. That's fine. But I don't think there should be like like that pressure you're speaking of. Exactly. You're like, like if you don't like being it, forced. You, yeah. you don't like it. No so they what. could put out a bunch of rewards, and you could just vote on which ones what, you like and which ones you what don't. What I think I, will, I I think what I think they need to do. I'm not sure if they're doing it. Is that instead of relying so much on like a shitty poll, they really need to start thinking about using surveys more. Because like the survey isn't forcing you to do anything. It's not. It's not forcing you to admit that something is going to come out. 
it's more like just gauging the interest of people, right? Where there's less at stake so that people can be more genuine and be more open about it and not being forced like, oh, well, 80% of people voted this. I don't know what to do. I guess I'm going to vote yes, right? Like yeah. they really need to start using like some survey. So like what they need to do is like, okay, so you pitch the concept of warning. They should really open up a survey where they ask you about certain parts of warnings. Like, do you like warning in general, the concept of warning in general, you know? And then they'll ask you specifically like different parts of warning. And then they'll tell you, you know, they'll, they'll let you choose, right? And that, that way they can gather the survey. That way by 2030, we'll have a skill in the game. Probably. Yeah, so, so, so when they do work on the actual rewards, they understand what people like, like about it more and what people don't like about it more. And they can actually start pitching ideas that matches kind of yeah. like the I balancing mean, aspect all, of it. All I'll say, the last thing I'll say yeah. on this, is I think if they pitch warding and when it comes to the vote, They've like done exactly the same with this post right here, and they've got all of these rewards. I am absolutely certain it will fail. Okay, and if that's just a case of an open book of it's either it's going or it's closing, I don't think it will pass. I don't think that's the the best way to pitch this to our community and make this. Yeah. Like, so I don't think it should be done like that. Like, so what if we say yes next month that we want warding, and we can't figure out the rewards for another nine months? Who cares? Let's wait until it's ready. To come out instead of bringing it out when it's not ready or bringing it out with rewards that we're not happy with like why can't we take that extra time because i'm well, i'm dead yeah, i'm certain yeah there's, there's a pressure. lot of stupid people playing this like i love everybody in the community but i'm telling you man if you give us too much power we're gonna have stupid shit happening and stupid shit not happening all of a sudden warning's not gonna have a point or it's just gonna be too easy I mean, no, people who yeah, make no, the no, like, skills, I, I just, though, they, yeah. uh, they've made the whole game for us. This is what we love about yeah. the game. And, 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 We're not like, playing Minecraft, dude. We, we want some control, yeah. but we don't want everything. Yeah. We want to play a no. game they've made for us, dude. If we have them yeah, I mean, making everything, it's I think go the most shit. important thing is that the, the idea behind new updates is that it should prolong the game's longevity. And I think but there's a, there's a huge conflict of interest, though, with, with the way the polls are designed. I, I'm going to have to talk about it because... <laughs> this, this is really important. No, go for it, gonna pull it. Because you think about it this way, right? People are selfish, so they'll want things that benefit them, first yeah. of all. And and also people are, are a lot of people are follow the sheep mentality. We all have it in us, right? To a degree. And, and the way, unfortunately, the polls are designed is that one, they often ask you really obvious questions that will often generate a yes. Because like they'll ask you questions like, do you want a convenience update to make it more convenient, right? Like something generic along those lines. So like who in the right mind would say no, right? Because it, it, it'll benefit you, right? Most people, it's like asking you, hey, do you want a million dollars for free, right? It's like, who's going to say no, right? So they often ask you those type of questions that literally will always pretty much give you a yes, right? Yeah. For the most part. That's, that's number one. And number two is the fact that you can see the results. So a lot of people that obviously aren't going to take time to read the dev blogs and, and you know, be critical about a lot of these uh, updates, they want to feel like they're part of something, right? So when they vote, well, the thing is, is that before you even like actually select yes or no on something, you already see the results. And, and as, as you can see year by year with the way that, it, you know, the, this, this trend has been going, more and more people are getting accustomed to just voting to what the majority results already say. So so at this point, you already realize that if you know you see that over 70% or 60% of people vote yes, you're automatically just going to vote yes. Because like if you don't know what the topic is about, but you still want to feel like you're part of it, you're just going to follow the crowd, right? Most people are going to be sheeps about it, and they're going to follow the crowd, right? Yeah. So very few people are going to be critical about it. So, so that's the problem. There's two big problems. The way they, they poll certain questions some questions really don't need to be pulled and it's up to Jagus to the side and they don't understand they don't seem to understand how to differentiate between critical questions that really require people's input and questions that they as a team need to decide themselves right so they they're getting confused with that and and the other one is obviously they don't understand how a poll works and for some reason they think it's okay to let people see the results before they even vote those yeah. those are conflict of interest. You can't you can't use a system like that. It doesn't. It just doesn't give you proper results. It's completely biased. The system is just completely biased, and and that's just not how you should determine the fate of the game updates, 
right? You don't want to use a flaw system like that. It, it's you can already yeah. see the weakness behind it. It's because have you seen the polls lately? Almost every single up, uh, every single thing that's being polled pretty much has 80, 90% yes. Well, if you think about it though, a lot of these updates are kind of beneficial to the game. Not that it's like a yes or no answer. It's just like, eh, that would help out a bit. But when it's like a yes or no answer to the point where it's like, oh yeah, that would fucking do something horrible. It's usually a no. So in a way, it's just kind of like streamlining these decent yeah, ideas. I mean, but... that, that, that used to be the case three years ago when like kind of critical updates, it was finicky. But to be honest with you, there's a lot of like updates that came into the game because of the poll that are finicky. But it didn't matter anyways because people yeah, I feel you on some of the sheet mentality and just vote yes regardless. There's a couple, but in order to streamline it, since it is yeah. a video game, I mean, yeah. Unless they were to lower the poll percentage from 75 to 60 and hide the poll answers, I mean, you probably wouldn't get anything. Pass. They just have to hide the poll number one. Like that, well, then that's no, the, I don't think anything would pass with that yeah. high of a percentage though. 75. I mean, yeah, no, it's fine. Like keep it 50 50 and hide the polls because 50 50 is as fair as it gets. You know what I'm saying? Majority rule. Something like that, right? yeah. Yeah, they just have to hide the results, number one. you just I'm, I'm, I'm making it very clear because nobody in this world who, who actually knows how to set up a polling system lets you see the results now, before the results are finished. Since like, we had some literally... JMOD yeah. allegations, right? Yeah. Maybe if they hid the polls, the community would act negatively towards it because they want to no. see the results. I no, feel because... like it would because, like... If you have somebody that was just hacking your accounts, man, now the future of the game, you can't see whether it's leaning, yes or no. I mean, I wouldn't say Jagex would just pass certain things and just because they can, but I think the community wouldn't really trust it. So I don't oh, know. wait, wait. Do you think that's why they do show it? Because Maybe. They, I don't no, know. They, they, don't, no, they, they feel like they might be deceiving us. If I, re I remember the reason why they said they couldn't do it is because they their web team couldn't hide it because they had to like actually bring the web people in to create a system where you can hide it in the website. That's what they said. Well, but they to need to do it. With you, they need uh, to do it like ASAP. Like, you're totally right. I agree with yeah, you 100%. Yeah. You shouldn't be able to see that stuff. Yeah, what not, they need to do. Not before and not after you voted. Exactly. You will not be able to see that until the poll is ended. Yeah, exactly. And then they, you know, yeah, count it up. You can't, right. you can't lose. Because this is, this is a <laughs> proper way to do it. That's, that's just how polls needs to be. That's how polls work, right? They're like they're what they're using is some sort of really messed up version of a polling system yeah that basically will will benefit jagex in terms of allowing them to keep updating the game with very little pressure because to be honest with you they know that if they let people see the results then most updates are going to be passing so that way they get more work yeah but that, that work. works in two ways that's a two-way yeah. street it either works to their advantage it works to their or, advantage that's why or, they set it up like that i'll yeah, be but honest we're not you. Or not, because there are things that they really wanted to pass, yet they still so show the percentage, which haven't passed. Do you know That's what, what I mean? I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, it's like, like streamlining like saying, the good ideas and then yeah. the shit ideas. Yeah, yeah, the, like, it, it, was, it was okay. It, was, it didn't work in their favor in the past because people used to be more critical and there were less people playing the game at the time, so they were more careful with how they voted. But nowadays, it's, it doesn't matter. It will work in their favor all the time because... I'm, I'm serious. Look at the poll results the past three years, two years. You will see that pretty much everything passes. So uh, nowadays, it will always work in their favor. They'll always bring out the updates. You know what I'm saying? They don't, they're not worried about that anymore. People, and people are used to that. They don't, a lot of people aren't used to being critical anymore. They just kind of vote based on what they see. Yeah. As yes is, right? So what they have to do is hide the poll, make it 50 50, right? If it passes 50 percent, then that poll passes. And obviously make it so that when the, when the polls are done, you get to see the results. Yes. And if it, and, and if it has to be done to, to the point that it's so transparent, then, then make it so that every person's name can be found on the list that you voted. You know what I'm saying? So like after the fact, if for any reason you think that Jagex rigged the system, you can all like you can always find a name, right? They need to set that system, right? If you want to be sure that they're not rigging it. So like if you go on that poll that you voted last month and you search your name in it and you see your name in it, right? And it's like, okay, it's clear as day. My my input's still there, you know? Yeah. They, need, that they works. have to do that. They have to do that, to be honest with you. This because like right now, go if you go in forward, right? Any update you, you bring into the game, it doesn't really matter if it's if you know as a critical player that cares about longevity of the game, right? So I personally care about the longevity. 
So I only want updates that I genuinely think will promote the game's like longevity, right? Yes. So you can play for longer, right? But the thing is, is that a lot of people in this game don't really think like that. They they think for themselves, and they're gonna bring in updates that doesn't necessarily promote the longevity of the okay. game, right? All right. So my my only yeah. question to you right now, Rui, yeah. is if they dropped it from a pass rate of seventy five percent, because that's currently what we need to pass. Yeah. If they drop that down to the majority, so say fifty one percent, yeah. And something, Over 50%. So, yeah, and something like absolutely shit, terrible, got passed. Would you be okay with that? Well, I mean, because it's fair. You, you can influence it. <laughs> I mean, it's, it's yeah, not like no, you're. I'm no, saying it, you're I'm playing not, by I'm the rules. I'm not trying rule. to catch you out. Or yeah, anything. no, 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 no. I because, understand that. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Because the way I see it is, seventy-five percent is a really safe way to make sure that if something does come through, they're only pissing off twenty-five percent of the player base. Do you know what I mean? Whereas yeah, if it's yeah, 50, yeah, no, 50, but... they could potentially be pissing off half of but, the player. But base. yeah, but the thing is, is about, it's about integrity, right? The way the poll is structured is biased, right? Yeah, it prefers yeses or, or it prefers a majority over the minority, yeah. right? Yeah, That's okay. What I'm saying. It's biased. Right. If you so do I, a poll that's 50-50 and it's hidden results, it's completely fair. The poll itself is neutral, right? You want a poll yep. that's neutral, right? It doesn't have it doesn't have a say in one particular thing. Like the fact that you said at 75% is already biased. And the fact that you see the result is already biased. Because Yep. Okay. I I, I, I 100% I 100% agree with you. They should get yeah. rid of the being able to see what's yeah. passing or not. Um no, that's number one issue. That's like yeah, the that, most that's not, I, I'm with you on that. Yeah, when it comes one. to the 50-50 thing, I am very open to them dropping it down from 75, even if they just dropped it down to like 60. Yeah, I was thinking yeah, 60. I'm, happy with that. I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not like anal about the 50-50. Like my number yeah. one point is that they have to high results, number one. That is yeah, the 100%. most important. Thing. That's like 100 times more important than anything uh, any of the other polls. They, they should poll it. Fucking poll it. Should we like, try? Like, should we hide they the polls? Poll. Yeah. <laughs> it just, they it already just tried, be like 100% yes. Yeah. They already put. They already tried, I believe. And obviously, you know, for for a reason. It's like people yeah. want to. They're too used to seeing the results. Well, but it, they really shouldn't. If it that came matter, into the like, game, dude, it would fix yeah. the whole streamer favoritism, right? Because streamers would be like, "Oh, it's not passing. Let me just make a video and want yeah, it to pass." Like, and I like, hate that it, shit. If it doesn't yeah, pass. Yeah. Doesn't doesn't pass. Pass, you play by the rules right? right and then but no dude a lot of these streamers will like bias this shit if they couldn't tell then we wouldn't have it would it would literally fix the bias from that yeah perspective. I, I, I mean i'll be honest i think a lot of people don't understand how a poll is supposed to work and we're telling you ain't now, nobody vote in runescape come on man like a poll is not supposed to be visible but yeah i don't want to drag it on too much but like yeah the, yeah let's let's move on from this subject yeah. i think the thing that we should take away from this though is yeah. that a hundred percent they need to get rid of being able to see the percentage of what is passing yeah, i exactly. completely it's agree with that important. i i think most people that are like logical thinkers will agree with that as well that makes complete sense they should definitely do that yeah so that way future updates like big updates like this you know it's it's very fair and that means really my boy sailing has a that. chance let's go dude 50 percent, easy sailing or 60 percent or whatever you know dude, it's up to it's, i it's think that, it, that is okay whatever i think at like 70 percent or something when it voted i, I can't remember feels bad yeah. okay uh should we move on to the video that Colonel yeah, yeah. made? all righty so right so i i spotted this i'm subscribed to this guy uh, I've watched a little bit of this video. I haven't watched the whole thing, but it's basically talking about why skills in RuneScape haven't passed. And I, I feel like this guy does it in quite a good way, and he explains and shines a lot of light on it. So I think this is an interesting one. Okay, watch. some good insight here. Let me just change the thing again. There we go. All righty. Everyone buckled in. Scores first yeah. new skill by discovering the hidden Wait, this is a. Uh... No, no, no. Uh, he's he's doing like a little a intro stuff. thing. Yeah, oh, that's pretty okay. cool. Yeah, yeah. I was confused. Rice is like, boy, wrong vid. And gaining valuable insight into the practices of warding. So I'm assuming most of you have heard of the new skill Jagex has been working on for. Dude, this man sounds like Chunk. What the hell? <laughs> Dude, this is Chunk number two. He's <laughs> back, baby. <laughs> However, what most of you may not know is that this is the third skill Jagex has put resources into only to have it fail in the polls. Although warding hasn't failed yet, I won't be surprised if it does. I'll explain that and the history of all the failed skills in this video. 
I like so, that. So first of all, 99% of what gets implemented into old school RuneScape is based off of in-game polls. You need a total level of at least 280 to vote in these polls, and the proposed feature will only be considered successful or pass the poll if you can say 75% yes or more <laughs> vote. Due to such a high bar, there. By are the way, we're gonna link this guy down below, so we're not still in contact. Go check him out. Very experienced players with 280 total. <laughs> Go check him out, man. <laughs> I think it should be a little higher than that, huh? Yeah, features that like obviously don't pass, even if it's by less than 1%. Regardless, thousand. every time a new skill is proposed, it is introduced through the polling system. Before we get to warding, let's go back and- What the f- what the fuck is this, dude? <laughs> These are the people who make the games, man. They got a little gnome with a bucket head. Bruh, what the hell's going on? Dude? ...time and talk about the previous two skills that failed the polls, and maybe figure out why. <laughs> Back in huh. May of 2014, Jagger's held a player design skill competition. Much like the player Dude, design at, contest- look at- sorry, sure. I wish we could have found that, um, picture right there. Look at how nice that looks. Just a bunch of boats chilling on the- on the bay, dude. Come on, that'd be so cool. In Jagex held a player design oh skill competition. Much like the player design content polls that led to the introduction of Rooftop Agility and the Motherload Mine. The top five skills that eventually got pulled were Herding, Geomancy, Forestry, Astronomy and artisan. Dude, whatever artisan happened to hurting being the skill that won the poll with forty-three point five percent. Nothing. They just didn't pass. <laughs> this type I was of excited poll for that. Seventy-five percent yes vote because that isn't an option for this type of poll. Jagex was just interested in seeing which skill the community liked the most. Moving on, artisan is more or less like Slayer, but for non-combat skills. Artisan would use rune crafting, construction, herb lore, crafting, fletching, smithing, cooking and farming as tasks. You would go to an artisan master who would tell you to make, let's say, a hundred vials. You'd make those vials and get artisan XP equal to the crafting XP you got from creating them. While working on a task, you could receive motes of inspiration, which would be used to create the unique items I think we can skip some of these, because he's just explaining like, the skills. Okay, yeah, yeah. No, I got you. I yeah, got we you. already explained that, so. ...of a mini-game of sorts called Player-Owned Ports. The history of sailing. Just skip along until the point where he's like, "Why is it?" I wanted to see more about sailing, dude. What the hell? He's got a little pond. Yeah, feel free. Feel no, free. no, yeah, no. We, we didn't talk about the sailing. That look, much. look at that little like, icon. If you can see it. Oh shit! Move. Puke. Disgusting. Dude, what do you need? It looks so cute. It's got a little water on it. What if sailing <laughs> was actually a skill? Jagex started to think the same thing, and on September eighth, posted this Badass. developer blog displaying their ideas behind it. Sailing to old school RuneScape is almost construct your own storage chests and so on. You would explore the sea the same way you click with your character. Along the way, you'd encounter so cool. points of interest like resource pack islands, a grumpy pirate, or lost dungeons. Sailing would also unlock new areas such as huh, nice Atlantis ship. and Lost <laughs> Island. Overall, it seemed like a pretty solid skill. Badass. A skill that would bring new content to old school but keep nostalgic players happy because they were around when sailing was just a rumor. Look at, look at how cute that is, dude. Are you kidding me? Dude, oh, what am I looking at? That bro, looks terrible. Look at this, dude. It's adorable. <laughs> are you kidding? Some fucking dude's like sinking in his shit right there. I hope he's a hardcore Iron Man. Bro, bro, bro imagine dude. just a bunch of Dark Bow teams. <laughs> dude, like five people Dark Bows just hitting. Dark Bow one chip. <laughs> dude, fucking ML Goody and me can make a Dark Bow video uh, on this and bitch. If any new skill we're rushing people in my boat. <laughs> <laughs> However, it lost by just 7% with a 68% yes vote. No, see, if it was 50-50, we would have sailing, bro. Trash game. But, no, man. And, I, and I'd be making and League of Legends. we videos. have the warning. <laughs> then you would, ain't no one gonna watch your League of Legends, bro. What the? <laughs> introduced at this year's RuneFest. Warding will be used to create magic-based items such as right, armor and warding. weapon. Is it possible yeah. for old school RuneScape to ever get a new there skill? There we go. My current answer is no for a lot of reasons. First of all, every time a new skill is proposed, development time is used for content that the team knows will probably never be used. This is very counterproductive for Jagex, that's why in over five years, only three ideas have been proposed. Things like skills will be on the back burner, while content more likely to actually pass will take center stage. Secondly, the community is just too diverse for a new skill to be pulled. Imagine this, we go back a few years and let's say the skill Agility is proposed. There's nope. no way it would ever pass <laughs> the polls. That. It's a skill the large majority hate to train, but offers decent benefits. Players would argue, why can't we just make all the shortcuts diary requirements, or have each one need different skill requirements, like strength to push a boulder? 
Sure, more run energy would be nice, but players who hate grinding would dislike the advantage it gives to players who do. Whether any the game. of these are even valid arguments, <laughs> I can yeah. guarantee they'd all happen should agility be pulled, because everyone is different. It's literally to the point where people who didn't like sailing and voted no to it are now requesting it to be repolled ever since shit. boarding was announced. This is because <laughs> opinions change all the time as the community dude. does. So, Badass. in conclusion, will old school RuneScape ever get a new anchor, skill? Bro, My opinion anchor. is no. The only way it happens is if some serious changes occur. Like, only 60% yes votes are needed for a skill to pass. I'm not saying hey. this is what should or will happen, I'm just saying it's one of the only ways enough of the community will be okay with a new skill. One way we could maybe get a new skill without changing how voting works is introducing a demo of the skill. Have a few beta worlds where the player can train this skill for up to level 10 or 20. This should give players an idea of how it works. Also make it a requirement that if you want to vote on the poll, to at least train this skill for a few minutes, or maybe get it to level 10. Okay. Regardless of all Pulls this, it a minute. who knows? I think the beta world regarding training the skill is a good idea. Oh yeah. I what he, what he just said then about like it like you have to test it to be able to vote. I disagree with that a hundred percent because that's going to cut out a huge majority of people. But I think if they did have beta worlds where you could just try out warding, wouldn't be a bad idea. You know, if if they could do that and they were like that far into warding that they could actually, you know, allow you to be able to train it in a beta world like that sounds good yeah the the real the real issue i guess with that is it's the fact that i mean i feel like we should be able to but for them it's always it's always about resource like you know that was like oh we're short on time we don't have enough uh people doing something like yeah staff but i feel like if it's i feel like it's worthwhile though to probably spend the time to make prototypes to get to get the idea going yeah so that people can I mean, test if, it. if they're serious about like you know passing a new skill, then why not? It's not gonna hurt if they just put it in and you could train it in a tournament world for like till level twenty or whatever. I mean, it let people understand what it's like. I, I feel like yeah. that's fine. I feel Agreed. like just the first ten levels is fine, you know. Right. So I they, mean, they, it, they that sounds the... like a great way to get a skill in the game. I feel like it's probably the only way. I, I just. He he brought up a bunch of points we already talked about. Like half the video is pretty much him explaining the skills, but I mean, yeah, we should kinda... we should have just put that at the beginning of the podcast so you didn't have to explain mm -hmm. it. But hey, we're here. Yeah, okay. it, it, it we really, it, but either way, we just had to explain it one way or the other. But yeah, his, yeah. He, he has some good opinions though, which is true because yeah, the, like making a skill takes a lot of time because like I've I pitched it before. It's like the skill isn't one update; it's like twenty different updates at one or yeah. more, right? So, so yeah, that's why it's a lot of, lot of time and effort, and and it sucks because, because they like it, it makes sense to kind of initially jumpstart and get some work on it, but there's a chance that it it won't it won't pass, and then they'll be like, oh fuck, then what do we do? Because exactly. I already spent so much going time back on to it. the artisan thing. I mean, this is just the dev blog, and yeah, and if I was looking through this actually, and to be honest, like, I would totally vote yes on this. Yeah, cause yeah for example, well artisan, right? Out. It's really well for example, Artisan, if I remember, like I remember uh, the time it took for them to kind of like pitch it and then create the drafts, just just like the writing stage of it, right? That that's already wasted for them because it didn't pass. So they'll so pretty much all that stuff that they wrote in the past for, to prep it, the work put into it is already gone because it's like too late, right? It didn't pass. So <laughs> if you don't want the Artisan skill as a whole, should we introduce a level twenty tree called the Ash Tree? What the hell? These yeah, these are like are... side stuff, but yeah. They're like, because yeah. they they did so much work, they still want to add some of this stuff because they're like, well, if it doesn't pass, they, maybe they still want to do updates. You know, they still yeah. want to have updates yeah. to work on. I mean, I mean, I just saw one. Just I saw pass. one there that said, if it doesn't pass, would you guys want redwood trees? So like, we didn't have them at that point. So I mean, they're taking resources and ideas from these skills. So even if we yeah. don't get the skill itself, it's yeah, not. Yeah, they, they try. They try to salvage as much as they can, pretty much. <laughs> yeah, I don't blame I mean, them, dude. You got. You got to, man. You got to. I don't blame but yeah, them. I think. I think that's pretty much all. Like, what are your thoughts, guys, overall on a new skill in old scoring scape? How How do you guys feel? About if warding doesn't pass, we have no hope for another skill. To be honest. Um, um, either way, I'm fine with it, though. I well, like, to be honest with you, I think Warren's probably going to pass just because the way the system set up has kind of trained voters' minds to just kind of go with the flow. Anyways, but but if it doesn't pass this, what it'll tell me is that there are a lot more critical people 
than I initially thought. Because think about it, there's so many new people coming to the game. So I doubt that's the case. People, you mean I, I, uh, I, I doubt that's PKers the case. and rot voting no for just no reason? Critical people. I mean, any, anybody. It doesn't, it doesn't matter which group. It's just there are going to be people that aren't going to spend the time to read on these things, and there are also going to be a ton of people who isn't as invested into the game as us to really have an experience level to kind of like relate everything together and see if it makes sense. Yeah. So yeah, there's going to be a lot of people that are just going to go with the flow. They'll see the results and they'll vote with the majority, right? Because that's just how the, the poll, unfortunately, is set up. So so I, I doubt it's I doubt it's not going to pass. I'm pretty sure it will pass. Just because even in the past, Artisan and Sailing, as scuffed as they were with the introduction, it still got 66% or something close, right? They didn't like they, they didn't fail miserably. They got kind of close. Right? People 75%. wanted it, yeah. I mean... Yeah, 75% was the margin then. But you know, nowadays, more people are likely to vote yes if majority says yes, right? With the way the poll set up, right? So, honestly, if three years ago sailing almost passed, but it only it only missed it by nine percent, I highly doubt warning. You know what I mean? Okay. I, like, it's a do or die thing, it. though. I think a lot of people know it's if this doesn't pass, RuneScape won't get a new skill. So it's almost like a settle in a way. I think a lot yeah. of people know they have to settle with warding even though it's a really great fit in great balance it's like i i haven't seen anyone like fucking blow up my chat like can't wait till warding comes out you know they're talking about group iron man to, to be Peter honest Blood. with you yeah to be honest with you, most people can only complain about the imbues yeah that's the it imbue rate. that's it that most people that i've heard and that's the runescape community in a whole man. it's like if they're taking yeah. some away i'm about to bitch you yeah. know it's like i mean it's, it's okay it's just it oh, yeah i seeing agree that, yeah. seeing the untrimmed warding cape just makes me want to make a level three warden a pure, where I just train warden. Is that the untrimmed one right there, the purple one? No, the, uh, the other one, other dude. One. The basic. What the fuck warden do you want one. this? Sh this is amazing. Look at this, because bro. Because nobody's oh. nobody's gonna fucking no have that. No one wants game. this. Sh of nobody's course, no one wants this have shit, cape. That, cape. Dude, look at how nice this purple is, dude. Fuck your ugly ass. Yeah, yeah, looking. Also, we don't we don't have a purple skill cape. Thieving. I like yeah, purple it. Trim. I want it. Purple Give trim. it now. Drop it down, just put it yeah, in. Yeah, it looks real clean. But I, I, I do like it. I personally think it's going to pass as well. Yeah. Uh, to take, to take away likely. from this, sort, sort your voting system out, Jagex. Needs to be touched up on 100%. 100%. There, there are a few flaws in it that aren't just little flaws. They're, they're big. Big flaws. Like, Man. oh my God. Just... Like, like, please patch that fucking hole in your house, bro. Chill, you know, like, fix that shit. That's like, you're at, there ain't no roof on your building, bro. What are you know, doing? Like, what the hell, man? It's raining, <laughs> yo, it's like hitting you and shit. You're using an umbrella? Get a roof, man. What are you doing? I, I'm For just real. saying, look at this cape, dude. And just imagine a little sailing symbol on it, dude. With a little blue trim, a little boat, oh, dude, a little water. Oof. <laughs> yeah, put damn. a boat in there. You know, this. you see that bottom space right there? There's space for the cape. Put a boat. <laughs> Boaty, <laughs> dude. Like... Oh, I want it. Oh well. Yeah, I, I think th I think the warding skill though is, is should be okay as a skill. Remember, Chad, don't forget to say which one would you want more: sailing, artisan, or warding. I'm thinking, at the moment from talking and looking at this dev blog, to be honest, which is artisan, I would be down for artisan because it's not just slayer and then you do some stuff. There's there's a lot of cool things in here that could help you out. Yeah, you Crafting get some nice rewards. War totems dude they give you extra logs just for having it you know i mean it's just a little bit of a buff but it's nice dude it makes yep. skilling more ch in my opinion a little mm -hmm. more chill than it would already be if you just had a little bit of it i mean it's not necessary but after seeing all of the hard work put into artisan because i didn't vote before uh this just looks like i'd hope to see it in the game in the future after warding or something yeah, and yeah. This, if if a, if a skill does get through, I think it's going to open up a door for potential new skills. Like to one come. a year, almost like it's going to be yeah, crazy. Yeah, you're going to be opening Pandora's box in the sense that there will yeah. be, uh, I guess, potential innovative updates. I mean, I I feel as though there already have been some innovative stuff in in the game, like raids and stuff. But in terms There's of skilling, like guess, of course, man, that shit's dope. Yeah, so. Right. I think we should end the podcast today by saying if you guys have watched 
How long has this podcast been? Like an hour, I'm guessing? Hour and 20, it says. Hour and 20. If you guys have stuck with us for this hour and 20, hopefully the audio is better than the last one. That's my <clears> bad. <throat> You're welcome. My bad. <laughs> I hold my hands up for that one. That was on me. I fucked up. Like, the biggest YouTuber here fucks up the audio, man. Look at this guy, dude. <laughs> it was the pre- Dude, it was the pressure of having Manx, man. It got yeah. me. And you've, the pressure got to me. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, if you guys have watched it this far, say something down in the comments. Uh, I don't know. Hashtag bring back sailing. I know I know that Mint Mad Cow is going to like that. So bring back <laughs> sailing if you guys <laughs> Now they're not going to do it. The way through. <laughs> yeah. And yeah. I tell hope your you guys grandma. Tell your, tell your new mobile like cousins, little kids, you know, about the podcast. Yeah, yeah. Get, share get out the name, educated. dude. Yeah, get share them educated. The Spread the word, boys. We're trying to like, make Informative. This Sexy, nice. and we're all thick. All right, rice is getting there. Yep. We'll gain some weight. We'll get thick. Yep. Up here and is thick. <laughs> remember, guys, remember, boys, oh. every Sunday, new podcast. Okay, and subscribe. down below, like, link, friends. Mod Jed shirts, only an extra large. They're going to be in polo. <laughs> it's going to be sweet. Image right here. Every we're gonna Sunday. We're going to have to do that. We're going to have to do that at some point. Like, dude, what's he going to do? Sue? Yeah, probably. <laughs> uh, <laughs> but yeah, guys, I'll see you guys in the next podcast. Peace. Yep. Bye-bye.